it's a lot of stuff going on today dealing with this man Lil Yachty. What's good, y'all? Man, it's that boy Dilly back here in another video. Shark Super Bowl. Let's talk about today. Listen, bruh. The last video I made, why Caribou left concrete? I was trying to figure out why. And all of this stuff is starting to unfold tonight, bro. I don't know why tonight they chose for all this to unfold. I didn't plan on making a video today at all. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna just wait for 12 o'clock for everybody to drop music. But no, Lil Yachty has been in the news trending on Twitter all day because of the situation with his homeboy on his podcast talking about basically this is what he said. I'm gonna just summarize it for y'all. Y'all can go check it out on Twitter if y'all can find it. Basically, this man was saying to his friend on the podcast, nigga, without me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be doing shit in life. That's basically what he said. I ain't gonna lie. But that's besides the point. We gonna get to the main course. So, Caribou and Lil Yachty. As we know, Caribou left concrete. So they say she left. We don't know if she got kicked out or if she left. So, Caribou, well, she didn't take it to social media herself. It was somebody that she actually met in public and they took a picture with her or whatever and they asked her what happened to you in concrete did they kick you out or some shit here goes caribou response here goes the whole tweet right here reason to why caribou is not in concrete anymore let's blow this up real quick let's go ahead and get on our reading task i see why caribou left this was the whole clip that i was talking about about him sounding off on his friend about oh without me you wouldn't be here so boom this is what we're looking at right here she personally told me out of her mouth they kicked her out they're all effed up people and they were bullying her she didn't leave they kicked her out too true was the only person that had her back which is why she only still follows him which leads into this one right here right bro she walked into my job red lobster to order some biscuits ate them red lobster biscuits my nigga they be hitting i ain't gonna lie but she walked into the red lobster to order some biscuits and i asked her why she left she immediately corrected me and said she didn't leave they kicked me out saying they were really mean to her and bullying her a lot she seemed really hurt behind this to be honest like they really did her dirty and i believe it's because her name was the biggest behind yadi if we're being real i only started listening to him again because okay that's her own opinion okay listen as we know caribou the first lady of concrete got her first start on the concrete boys freestyle which was on on the radar shout out to on the radar by the way after seeing this 15 minutes ago lil yachty goes on instagram live this man said he was done with social media but i guess he lied he go on instagram live and he spoke about the whole situation let's get into this shit let's see what this shit is talking about let's see what lil yachty had to say because i want to see i need to see what lil yachty has to say about caribou and let's see what the truth is this whole time he was probably trying to keep it cool he was trying to keep it professional by not saying what's going on but since this news got out by the fan which i figured something was gonna happen somebody was gonna leak something that they know about it lil yachty responded let's see what he said two minutes 50 seconds man uh nigga all i ever did was help care nigga care if you want to tell this shit tell the whole story go ahead tell people how you verbally abuse people all right don't get on here and make it seem like niggas kicked you out like niggas kicked you out because uh bullying you where the hell is this nigga at bro go ahead tell people how you talk to people mm. how you tell my security guy oh you home oh you work for me oh uh we are uh we you ain't got no you're poor and uh we above you and how you, you talk to people like they nothing you talk to people like they're like they small like they like they beneath you yeah that's fucked up if that is true then i don't, I don't respect that part you. Bro, bro, tell people tell people how tell people how you verbally abuse people how you told me you're gonna spit on me when you see me tell people how you talk to that's people crazy. Bro. that's crazy that's crazy how you how, how you how you your brain is clinically imbalanced bro clinically how you imbalanced. disrespect people how you how you go around treating people in your everyday life i've been letting you do this whole thing where you act like you like a princess and you sweet and you know like oh you just such a good girl bro stop the front bro we didn't internally we have withheld your actions 
since the beginning of me giving you this career. Uh, what do we talk? If you don't know the whole story about why Caribou started rapping, it's because of Lil Yachty, pretty much, bro. Talking about, bro. What the fuck are we? What, you know, what the fuck are we even talking about, bro? You don't even do nothing. You. What the fuck? Yo, bro. It's so crazy to me, bro. Cause I fucking I I I've given you a career, and time to time you just disrespect me. I wrote every fucking verse you've done. I, I drew. <laughs> Hold on, wait a second, wait a second. I know Lil Yachty be writing for niggas and shit, but I didn't expect this. I would think that Lil Yachty wrote some shit for anybody in Concrete, for everybody that's in Concrete. He probably wrote some shit or even referenced something for them, but in terms of, like, writing everything, that's a bold statement right there, bro. That's crazy work. I wrote every fucking verse you've done. I dressed you. I dressed all five of y'all niggas, bro. I Pause. Now you bringing everybody else within concrete in this shit. This is where the ego come into the mix. You about to send everybody else in concrete astray. Is this the downfall of concrete boys? Cause you're about to, you're about to, that's a straight shot to everybody else. Talk about you dress everybody. You just disrespect me. I wrote every fucking Obviously, they all have the same style and shit, so it had to come from somewhere. First you've done, I, I dressed you. But still. I dressed all five of y'all niggas, bro. That's a straight shot. I dressed five niggas every time we stepped out the house. That is a straight shot. I put an outfit on everybody. I put eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I put three chains on all y'all neck. We bought a Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. Bro, you the most, dis you, you was watching tables. You was, you was, you was, you was waiting. What are we talking about, nigga? I changed your motherfucking life. And you on here lying, talking about some we bully you? That shit got me fucked up, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. You disrespectful, bro. You talk to people crazy. You tell people that they are nothing. You tell people you're going to spit on them. You, you tell people they poor and... You talk to the, you talk to my fucking label crazy. You claim I was stealing money from you, bro. Stealing money from you how, nigga? I ain't heard about that one. Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money, bro. See, this is the problem with you new artists. Y'all fucking, y'all get popping online, and then you become more popular than your actual music, mm. right? You nine hundred thousand dollars in a hole, and I got every fucking receipt, nigga. Nine hundred thousand dollars concrete in a hole. I got every fucking receipt, nigga, and I'ma post it. I dare you try me. Try me, I'ma post it, nigga. And I post how much money your fucking streams are made. You got, bro, stop. Don't don't go on the internet and act like I'm bullying you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money and, and, and took you around the world. And nobody would even know who the fuck Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What are we talking about? I get it. It's like I get this whole shit that this nigga Lil Yachty is saying, like, without you, I mean, without me, you wouldn't be shit. But why is he throwing this in the face of everybody that he knows? His, his, I wouldn't even say his best friend. Whoever the hell he be doing the podcast with, he said that shit to him. He just gave everybody in Concrete Boys a straight shot. Talk about, I dress all five of you niggas. Every time we step out the house, I gotta dress all five of y'all. Like, like they're kids or some shit. He's saying this shit like he... Like, they're his kids. That's basically how he's speaking about everybody that's in concrete right now, bro. I feel like it's just his delivery of saying shit. Like, you're saying the right thing, but in the wrong way. That's how I really feel about this shit so far, bro. Let's continue. Purpose. So everyone would say, who the fuck is that girl? I slowed the beat down. I put 808 specifically on your verse. Lil Yachty be producing this shit? I didn't even know he produced the whole uh, On The Radar shit. So when Make sure y'all go check out the On The Radar Concrete Boys reaction. I reacted to that, what was that, like six months ago? I to your part in the beat drop. Everyone would be like, oh, the, the girl is the craziest one. I wrote that verse the night before we even went to On The Radar. On my phone, bro, I typed, I, I, I got the voice, I got the fucking reference. What the fuck are we talking about? Which we'll hop never, into, we'll never, hop into no, the reference. No, a song in your life. That's why ain't no music came out since you've been left. Because you ain't got no music. Holy shit. So, boom. Lil Yachty wrote, he's saying that he wrote, allegedly, allegedly, wrote everything for Caribou. And the reason why she haven't released nothing is because she don't got no writer. The last song that we heard from Caribou was with, I forgot what who the artist was. She was speaking Spanish or whatever. And during the music video, Caribou still had on a concrete chain. So 
in a way, I kind of believe it because we ain't heard no new shit. But um, listen, this ain't a video to hate Caribou. I still fuck with Caribou, but I'm just trying to see what the hell is going on. This is just my reaction to everything that's going on, y'all. Since you've been live, because you ain't got no music, because you can't rap. What are you talking about? And I wasn't going to say nothing. On my mother's life, I was going to let you go live your life and go get a new writer and go get a stylist and go do you. I wasn't going to speak on you, but you're going to go on the internet and say that I'll bully you. Kara, I've never bullied you. I let you live in my house for free. You lived in my house for free when you didn't have nowhere to live. I let you live in my house. I let you live in my house for free. I let you live in my house for motherfucking free when you was disrespecting my home security and telling them that they they beneath you and that they better shut the fuck up and watch this house because they work for you when they work for me <laughs> same way you talk to people at the label same way you talk to the touring person bro the touring manager which i have every receipt on how you talk to people in group messages i don't give a fuck bro, bro say he got receipts for I, I, I got i daily i deleted instagram and twitter off my phone bro i ain't even on this shit I, i've been asleep for 17 hours bro i went to sleep at 2 a.m i woke up at 7 p.m Sick, throwing up, I'm throwing up right now. I swear to God, throwing up right now, bro. Fucked up, and you on here got me fucked up, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. They cut my eyes before my birthday, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. I ain't never did nothing but be nice. Yeah. I ain't never did nothing but be there. I ain't never did nothing but love you. Brought you around every rapper, any rapper, bro. Damn, bro. It sound like this nigga getting emotional and shit. I ain't gonna lie. You're on everybody from Baby to Drake to, bro. I put, I get, I, I. I put you on. Stop doing. Come on, bro. I'm completely sober, bro. Yeah. We already know. Look, bro. This yo. This is your label. Of course you put them on, bro. I, I, I mean, fuck <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. We not gonna. We not gonna act like, bro. Like, like I'm crazy, bro. I was. You was my best friend, bro. Like, come on, bro. I made sure. I gave you this career. I feel like the whole throwing shit in people's face. It's like we get it, but. <sighs> I don't know. I just think it's his delivery, man. What are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about, bro? At least he's keeping it honest, though. It's Mitch's situation. Because Mitch threw on everybody. From it was another situation. I don't know what the hell he's talking about now. But Lil Yachty is a sick man if he wrote all of these. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. What are these lyrics? Oh, I forgot he did write for the City Girls. And then he said he wrote every song. This one says, told him we... We can go and tape it. I'm shameless. He went lower with his tongue. Lil Yachty. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. Let's hop into the reference track, bro. Trust to knock off the dust. Why would that sack under my arm? Stacking up a must. I crushed the fuck into the test to get the fuss. You like a boss, I'm not like them, they doing such and such. I was selling lemonade while y'all were double dutch. I remember that I bar. Scam, I used to trap, I never cuddled much. I tell the am, I stretch my plans, I never settled much. I slipped on pimping once. You asked for how I brought on wine and you ain't flipping once. I remember I this. Once. Send them money for some pints, but I ain't shit not one. It's caribou, I'm not the two, you gotta know I'm up. No, dog, that's crazy. I heard you been say you the one, I guess I never stuck. I'm stuck up, it's like the that's what I'm at. Oh, shit. That's evidence right there that he wrote that. Yeah, man, I, I really don't know what to say about this whole situation, bro. It's... It's looking like this might be the downfall of the whole label. I don't know. Because you sending a straight shot saying that you dressed everybody, just make everybody else in concrete look weak. Or just make them look like, oh, I'm doing this like they my kids on some shit. Like, I dressed them. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like it was his delivery that was off during this. But he's keeping it real, bro. I feel like in terms of who's telling the truth. I feel like you can't go against the CEO word, especially if it is true that Caribou was disrespecting the staff, the security, everybody, just talking to everybody weird as hell. I can see why she got kicked out. But the whole thing about Lil Yachty, he's been on a road today throwing in everybody's face. I'm the reason that you're up. 
and without me, you would be a nobody. That's basically what he's been saying, bro. He said that shit to his his friend on the podcast, and now he's basically saying that about everybody in concrete. But yeah, man, I really don't know what else to say about this situation, bro. I don't know if there's more information coming out about this whole spill about Lil Yachty and Caribou. Ah. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. So, seems like this man Lil Yachty is on a crash out tour. Put the reaction screen back up. So, he replies, I guess his friend is Mitch, the one that he went off on. We could play that clip real quick. Well, I'm not going to play the clip. Y'all can go check the clip out. I don't know if I'm going to get copyright, copyrighted for that or not. But he basically was talking crazy to his friend, his friend Mitch. Let's see what he had to say about Mitch. I'm online talking about some Lil Yachty bully, uh, disrespecting his friend in front of Key Glock. Yes, bro. I didn't, I didn't, that, I, bro, Mitch came to me like, I need to do something in life. Help me out. I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to give you a platform. I'm going to find someone to sponsor us, and I'm going to give you a platform. We're going to make a podcast, and I'm going I'm to show people how funny you are. Okay, Lil Yachty seems like a genuine person because he's given a lot of people opportunities, bro. He seems genuine, but at the same time, he's still one of those niggas that's like, even though he put them on, he's still going to throw in their face. I'm the reason why you're here. You understand that, right? I'm going to show people how crazy you are. I'm going to show people like how cool you are. And it's going to give you a platform. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to do no motherfucking podcast, nigga. I'm a motherfucking rapper, nigga. <laughs> Got millions of dollars. I don't need to talk to other rappers. What the fuck are we talking about? I did the podcast. I always wondered why the hell he did the podcast, bro. Like, what the hell was the point? I did the podcast for Mitch. Don't put goddamn three, 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 four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. And y'all sitting here talking about something. He disrespecting his friend. And I got, I'm, I fuck, fuck, I ain't fucking with Mitch, bro. I talk, I, I've been asleep all day. I wake up to this crazy shit. Mitch, how the, I say, Mitch, how the fuck you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That's we got goddamn six million views on it. Why the fuck you ain't going and telling folks we playing? Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right, fuck that then, nigga. Fuck the podcast, nigga. Fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. Damn. What the hell? So, listen. From what I heard during the podcast, I don't watch the A Safe Place podcast at all. I just saw the clip. It just seemed like Lil Yachty was just throwing this shit in his face like, bro, I, I made you, bro. But to hear that Mitch wasn't doing anything with his life and he came to Lil Yachty asking for an opportunity, Lil Yachty helped him out. And basically that whole spill happened. It got on social media. He didn't say it was a joke. He probably felt the way about it. I would feel a way too if a nigga was just throwing in my face. Nigga, I made you, bro. Like, do you understand that? You asked me to be on this. Bro. I mean, you asked me to give you a platform, to give you an opportunity, and I did. You see what I'm saying? Listen, it seems like Lil Yachty is a genuine person, but he, he he's a nigga that like to throw in people's face that he created what the hell they got going on and shit bro this whole thing is crazy the whole spill with mitch caribou concrete is this the downfall of the concrete boys y'all can let me know y'all thoughts down below in the comments but other than that man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like and comment subscribe and even more videos coming some more content coming soon y'all already know what time it is man make sure you follow the kick follow the twitch also join discord down below in the description but hey man this is being your boy that boy deli oh